I can't remember if I've ever done a video about a specific thing I'm about to mention, but because um, I have a lot of Panasonic videos on my channel. <clears throat> well, videos that involve the word Panasonic, but <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with this. However, if you got a system like this and your tape doors don't open <clears throat> because they're electronically controlled, if you go in, and I believe it's this lever right here. No, it's... Oh, it's right here. This lever here. Push up on it. And then your door will open. So if you ever get a, a tape that's stuck, that's what you do. And same thing for this one, but it's just... it's Unfortunately, it's in the middle. So you would actually have to feel around for it, which... It's right there. And right there. So if I were to stick my hand in there, there you go. Because these are all, these are electronically controlled with solenoids and you have to have a good belt system because it utilizes the motor too to open these doors. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> actually, let me get a, a plug for a second. All right, so I'll turn it on. I don't even know what I last used it on, huh? Yep, tape, go figure. Okay, so as you see, as soon as I push the button, you'll see the the belt system move and stuff like that, which is kind of hard because, yeah, so I'll just do it like right there. And for, I have to use a different app for my phone for the camera because the original app won't access the rear camera anymore. So the only crappy part with this one is I can't focus while I record. So it's going to be a bit blurry. As you can see, you saw the wheel spin because it utilizes the entire belt system. I wonder if I can get my hand in there. You can see it better this way. Uh, that might work a little bit better. There. It's a, I don't like it, but that's what it does. It utilizes the motor with the solenoids, and you have to have good belts for it to work. But yeah, if you can't get your doors to open, you just do it that way.